Bill, Obama distanced himself from Clark's comments, but McCain then questioned his sincerity and, and his involvement. Do you think the recent comments are, are really part of some sort of orchestrated attack from the Obama campaign? No, it would be bad orchestration and choreography because they immediately apologized for it, which I'm glad they did. Axelrod said it was wrong. Obama said it was wrong, I believe. Several other people said it was wrong. Bob Dole, of course, said he should have stayed in bed on Sunday, Wesley Clark. It was, it was not appropriate to say. Now, of course, merely serving in the military is not an automatic qualification to be president. But the effect of his remarks was a derogation of military service, McCain's military service. And I got to tell you, being a fighter pilot in the Navy, five and a half years in a prison camp, being commander of the largest fleet in the Navy stacks up pretty well as a qualification compared to, say, being a community organizer or a law professor. I think it's, it's at least a draw. James, um, is McCain's service record fair game? Well, first of all, I, I, I don't know what the Obama campaign is apologizing for, because what Wes Clark said in response to Bob Schieffer say, I have to say Barack Obama's had not any of the experiences either, nor has he ridden a fighter plane and gotten shot down. Clark, well, I don't think riding a flight, fighter plane and getting shot down is qualification to be president. I don't, I don't, why are we apologizing? By the way, Wes Clark has 30 medals. He's got a silver star, bronze star, purple heart, and everything else. And, Good and qualification. the idea... The idea, and I, and I don't, I have no idea what the Obama campaign is apologizing for. There's nothing controversial in what General Clark said. Well, I'm with the Obama campaign, so James needs to talk to them, and, well, and they'll, they'll tell him why. Yeah, right, because yeah, I, I'll tell you, those are the, what you cited for Wes Clark is the point, James. He's right. got excellent qualifications. That's the beginning of a resume the, to run for president. Uh, again, uh, as I pointed out earlier, my, my uncle won the Distinguished Flying Cross, Purple Heart. But I, if, if he were alive, he'd be the first person to tell you that doesn't qualify him to be president. He qualifies him to be a hero. He qual his honorable service. And in many other ways that John McCain may very well be qualified for president. But, I, but General Clark, first of all, was well, responding to a but, direct observation. And the, the observation that he made, in my mind, was a completely legitimate observation. That doesn't, you know, the fact that I served two years point. in the Marine Corps doesn't you make miss, me qualified to be anything. It doesn't make you automatically qualified to be anything. The American people would like someone of honor to be in that office. How do you show you're a person of honor? I think that's one very persuasive way to show your honor, to have served your country in that way. Again, you too, and your uncle. Again, I think that, that Senator McCain is an honorable man. I don't think being a fighter pilot is, is, is qualification to be president. And that's all that General Clark was saying. It was, a snide, it was a snide and nasty it, comment. I don't think Did you see it? It was not. It? I saw the tape yeah. of it. It was responding. It was not a snide and nasty comment. Right. He was merely responding to an observation that Bob Schieffer was making, of which is well, not being reported in the press. It's being reported as if that General Clark okay. just went out and said this. He was Dave, making a very legitimate observation. Talk to uh, David Axelrod. He'll explain uh, it to you. <laughs> I, I, would love, I would love for someone to explain why we're apologizing for a patriot who made what I think is a completely legitimate point. Well, Bill, what about, what about McCain bringing in a former member of the Swift, this you know, so-called Swift Boat Veterans for Truth? Is there something strange that, I mean, McCain deplored those ads back in 2004. I think he called them dishonorable and, and dishonest. Well, uh, you know, obviously there were tons of claims made during the campaign against John Kerry. Some of them proved to be false. A lot of them proved to be true. I noticed the word swift boating is being used as a pejorative now. That's too, si that's too simple and simple-minded. A lot of the people who stepped forward, officers who served with John Kerry, stepped forward to set the record straight. I'll tell you my view. Let, you know, let, let people say what they want to say and then deal with it, respond to it characterize it. A person big enough to be president should be big enough to be able to take the criticisms. I want to know everything there is to know about the public character and something about the private character of anybody who wants to be president. James, is it odd to you that, that he's now using this guy who yeah, I, tactics he once but, called dishonorable? I, don't find, I find it not only odd, I find, I find the whole thing rather ridiculous. I think all that General Clark was doing was making an observation. Everybody in the world, and I've said a thousand times on here, I think that Senator McCain is an honorable man. I think he's, he's done things that qualify him to be president. I think that General Clark was making an absolutely, perfectly legitimate observation in response to a question. And I want to know, simple question, why are we talking about General Clark, 30 decorations, all right, who makes a legitimate observation and not the stuff that's really affecting this country, and that's the incompetence of this administration, and what can we do to get this straight? Whoa. That's a simple, that's well, a simple observation. Clark's comment struck a lot of people. Democrats and Republicans is off base. I think we've said enough about it. A man big enough to be president 
is big enough to, ha to have the truth told about him. I don't like this notion of all, all these off-limit areas when you're talking about people who want to be president. You know, And the Obama campaign is saying you can't do this, you can't do that, you're demonizing. Let's find out the truth about the man who wants to be president, both of them. We'll have more from Bill Bennett and James Carville coming up.